The World Robot Conference 2023 was held in Beijing, which became the largest in its history. Seven days instead of the usual four, 45,000 square meters, more than 160 companies and more than 600 robots, almost 60 of which were presented to the public for the first time. In addition, more than 300 international experts came to Beijing after the lifting of anti-cowboy restrictions. What struck our film crew most of all at the exhibition was the great variety of humanoids and bionic robots, which quite predictably became the main hits of the exposition. But first things first. According to Shin Gobin, China has been first in the world in terms of robot sales for 10 years, and the country accounts for more than half of global sales of industrial robots. Already today in China, there are 392 industrial robots per 10,000 workers, and this is a very, very good indicator. The first visitors to the expedition are greeted by robots that copy famous Chinese poets Li Bo and Du Fu, reciting their works. The Dalian company X Robots, which specializes in research in the field of intelligent humanoids and the creation of hyper-realistic bionic robots, is responsible for such performances every year at the exhibition. The Bartender Robot, which fully reproduces the appearance of one of the company's employees, attracted a lot of public attention. The robot's movements were quite smooth, his facial expression was constantly changing, and as it turned out, his double is already working in one of the bars in Kunming. In order to demonstrate the effective work of the joints created by them, X Robots brought a robot performing the dance a thousand guan yin. Of course, compared to the elegance of the original, it is still far off, but the softness and synchronization of the robot's movements are impressive. The developers believe that this technology can be developed and further used as prosthetic hands. The company is already seriously thinking about creating robot doppelgangers for everyone. The appearance of this robot is copied from one of our colleagues. We made it so that the expression of his face is copied on the robot. In essence, we've created a robot doppelganger. For example, if I want to participate in many activities, I can use robots instead of myself. For example, I'm a teacher and I'm going to lecture to students. I can place the robot in different classrooms and all the students can see me during the lecture. The company is currently working on making robots as perceptually capable as humans, that is, able to see, hear, touch and smell. According to ex-robots employees, robots will definitely have the ability to perceive their environment in the future, as well as the ability to express emotions. I think that the development of technology will change a lot every day. The coexistence of humans and robots will be inevitable in the future, but I don't think we should be afraid of anything. The most important thing is that we should learn to live with robots, because they can help us solve many industrial and domestic problems. They can help us take care of children and the elderly. They can help us wash and cook. They can come to our aid. Robots will be human partners in the future. I think this is an inevitable development trend. Huangzhou-based Unitree Robotics delighted visitors to the show last year with a mass dance of 130 robots, and this year with an absolute novelty in the form of Unitree H1 humanoid robot and the go-to robot dog, which is relatively accessible to the general consumer. Unitree claims to have spent only six months building the H1 robot, which was made possible by utilizing systems already proven on robot dogs. The company believes that their humanoid robot is set to start a new industrial revolution. From the main characteristics, height of almost 180 centimeters, weight of about 50 kilograms, maximum joint torque of 360 newton meters, 3D LiDAR plus depth camera, walking at a speed of more than 1.5 meters per second, and the ability to run. The company notes that combined with the versatile AI, the robot's range of applications could be expanded in both industrial and service sectors. We just unveiled our new H1 humanoid robot and we want to use it in the industry in the next 3 to 10 years. We want to help improve industrial production. Unitree Robotic is a leading developer of quadruped robots, and the company itself cites its main advantage over similar products from competitors as the independent development of almost all key components, including motors, gearboxes, controllers, laser radars, and manipulators, which allows for a high level of performance at a reasonable cost. The most affordable robot dog model on the market from Unitree will be Go2, whose price starts from $1,600. Even the most basic robot is equipped with 4D LiDAR. 
making GoTo's sensor system 200% better than the previous version. GoTo also provides a new human-robot interaction experience by combining AI voice interaction with a variety of movements and functions. Compared with Go1, GoTo's new powerful battery life has increased by 150%. The efficiency of the new joints with a maximum torque of 45 Nm meters has been increased by 30%. GoTo has many features for entertaining at home. Firstly, our robot is equipped with GPT and we can use it to talk to the robot. Also, GoTo has a powerful battery, so that it can keep working for two hours without recharging. And thanks to the 4D LiDAR, GoTo can scan any spaces. The GoTo is aimed at a wide range of consumers, so it has a relatively low price and pre-orders are already open. We'll leave a link to it in the video description. System safety is extremely important to us, and thanks to the 4D LiDAR, it can avoid risks and keep a safe distance from children and others. GoTo with its battery weighs about 15 kilograms and can carry loads up to 10 kilograms. The robot is equipped with a microphone, speakers, a lamp, and a front camera with an ultra-wide viewing angle and 1280x720p resolution. The company also showed the B1 Industrial Robot Dog, which weighs 50 kilograms and can carry a maximum load of 80 kilograms. With a battery life of 2 to 5 hours, depending on the robot's load, it can adapt to difficult terrain and bad weather, is highly mobile and flexible, and is substituted for humans in difficult and risky working environments. All of the company's robot dogs can be used for monitoring at industrial and other facilities, conducting inspections, and participating in search and rescue operations. Dream's anthropomorphic barista robot was partially responsible for serving the guests at the exhibition. The developers note that a humanoid robot as a barista is much more impressive than the robotic arms programmed for the same action, which have recently become commonplace at events. Not only can a humanoid robot make a coconut latte or a pumpkin raff, but can also interact with humans at the same time. There are a lot of uncertainties in its work, from its position in space to the trajectory of its movements, which requires more intelligence. The robotic barista weighs 56 kilograms at a height of 178 centimeters and has 44 degrees of freedom. It's equipped with a high-specific power motor, a depth camera, an advanced control algorithm, and numerous sensors, as well as the ability to create 3D models of the room. Dream also makes commercial food delivery robots, robotic pool cleaners, and robotic dogs. For example, the Dream Dog, which easily won the hearts of young visitors to the exhibition, the cost of such a dog, which can work for an hour without recharging, is 50 to 60,000 yuan, or about 7 to 8,000 dollars. The dog is designed to act like a pet. It responds to stroking, can dance and play music, bark, bow, give a paw, stomp and spin around on the spot. And Dream Dog's built-in emotion system can understand commands and gestures, learn movements, and help with learning. As for the humanoids, the company believes they will start showing up in people's homes within 10 years. The popularity of WRC this year is a reflection of the overall state of the robotics industry in China. Xin Gobin, Deputy Minister of Industry and Informatization of the People's Republic of China, told the conference that in 2022, its operating income exceeded $23.5 million. The production of industrial robots grew more than 20% to 440,000 units, and the output of service robots reached 6.5 million units. In 2023, the growth continues. In the first half of the year, the country produced 222,000 units of industrial robots, up 5.4% year-on-year, and 3.5 million service robots, an immediate 9.6% increase over the same period in 2022. Chinese developer of humanoid service robots and facial recognition systems CloudMinds Technologies agrees with these predictions. This year, the company showed a dance show of the Cloud Ginger XR1 series of service robots, which have already proven themselves on the market, and also presented its latest development, the Purple Humanoid Robot. The robot runs on the Harix OS operating system with an integrated robot GPT model, as well as innovative flexible joint technology. The robot is 165 cm tall, weighs 65 kg, and is built from lightweight and high-strength composite materials. This is our purple bipedal humanoid robot. We wanted to enter our homes in the future, taking care of the elderly and doing housework. We would also like to see these robots appear in factories to replace assembly workers. The robot is scheduled to be officially released in 2024, with mass production launching in 2025. These robots will be working with people, so safety is very important. 
The robot's drive is equipped with flexible sensors to gather information about the environment and people so that nothing is destroyed and no one is hurt. This is a very important technology we use in our robots. The company also told the conference that it's working on a universal cloud brain for robots to which any machine can be connected. Thanks to it, humanoid and other robots will be able to navigate in space, recognize objects, and perform complex tasks with them. Moving on, another humanoid robot on display was the GR1 from Foria Intelligence. With a height of 165 centimeters and a weight of 55 kilograms, the robot can move at a maximum speed of about 5 kilometers per hour and copy various human movements. It has 44 degrees of freedom and can carry a load of up to 5 kilograms in one hand. The battery life without recharging is designed to last 45 minutes. The robot is designed to be used in a variety of scenarios, including research and education, to assist in rehabilitation and in inspections, and to participate in performances and exhibitions. The company expects to begin mass production and delivery of humanoid robots within a year or two. Conference participants and manufacturers agree that at this stage, it is too early to talk about mass production of humanoid robots. As a rule, they're still at the stage of research, development, testing, and improvement, and they're too costly in production and prohibitively expensive for the average citizen. Nevertheless, according to a forecast by YH Research, the market for humanoid robots in China is expected to be worth about $21.9 billion by 2025. And the China Electronics Institute predicts that by 2030, the anthropomorphic robot market in China could already reach 870 billion yuan, or $119.5 billion. UBTech decided to please the visitors of the exhibition and presented some of the most spectacular and entertaining things at their booth. The Walker X robot rode around the stage on a platform in the form of a Segway, and the robot panda shook hands, opened the refrigerator, and took selfies with a crowd of fans. Walker X is 130 centimeters tall and weighs 63 kilograms. It can walk at a maximum speed of 3 kilometers per hour, climb stairs, balance on one leg, give massages, play board games, serve tea, pour water, bring objects, water flowers, and operate household appliances. Agreed, it's an impressive list. Walker X is also capable of recognizing faces, gestures, objects, and other information. All of this allows you to consider the robot as a home assistant or caregiver. For now, Walker X is mostly touring China, participating in all sorts of exhibitions, conferences, sporting events, and forums. Xiaomi showed off their Cyberdog 2 robot Dogman. Weighing at just 8.9 kilograms and equipped with a specially designed Cybergear micromotor, engineers note that Cyberdog 2 has improved mobility, making it able to perform more complex actions. For example, it can do several backflips in a row, get up after any fall, and run at a speed of 1.6 meters per second. Interestingly, Cyberdog 2 is equipped with multiple sensors and a decision-making system consisting of 19 sets of hearing, touch, and vision sensors. The robot also boasts an RGB camera, artificial intelligence camera, depth camera, LiDAR, ultrasonic sensor, and force sensor. All of these help the robot perceive its environment more accurately, capture and recognize the wearer's facial expressions, voice, and body language, all in all making human-robot interaction more natural. Compared to the previous model, Cyberdog 2 is 16% smaller and 40% lighter, which makes it more affordable, and as a result, the cost of such a four-legged friend will be 13,000 yuan, or about $1,780. By the way, the robot is already available for purchase on the company's website. Deep Robotics brought its robot dogs to the show, including this year's newcomer, Light 3. The company's robots are already working at various enterprises in the country, in particular the X-20 waterproof industrial robots, which can adjust to different environmental conditions and move on sand, snow, gravel and puddles, and climb steps no more than 20 centimeters high. This particular robot was the only one in China to conduct a fully autonomous inspection of a factory. The X-20 weighs 53 kilograms, and without a load can work on a single battery for 4 hours and walk up to 15 kilometers, with a load of 20 kilograms, it works for two hours. The robot has a maximum speed of 4.95 meters per second and is equipped with an AI module, high-precision LiDAR, depth camera, PTZ camera, and supports 4G and 5G. At the exhibition, one of the robots was the X-20 equipped with a robotic arm and performed butler duties by opening the door for a humanoid robot. The four-legged Light 3 robots can be used for educational purposes, for industrial applications such as inspections, and as a home robot that can jump, tumble, accompany you on walks, and help carry objects. 
The weight of the robot varies depending on the modification. It can reach from 12 to 13.7 kilograms, and the working time without recharging is 1.5 to 2 hours, and the robot can also carry a load weighing up to 7.5 kilograms. WRC participants name construction robots as one of the current trends in robotics. For example, the company Data Fountain AI Solutions showed its puttying robot, which can process 50 square meters of surface in an hour. Thanks to smart sensors, the robot unmistakably recognizes door and window openings and pauses the work. The robot is already on the market, and according to the developers, its efficiency is six to seven times higher than that of a human. Another curious solution in construction was shared by Shanghai company Fab Union, bringing its architectural 3D printer MetaPrinter 2.0 to the exhibition. It can print building structures, furniture, and decorative elements right on the construction site. The machine is housed in a huge metal case that can be easily transported, and on-site deployment and setup takes no more than two hours. The weight of the equipment is 5 tons, the maximum printing speed is 10 kilograms per hour, and the maximum size of products in height, length and width can reach 180 by 560 by 80 centimeters respectively. This year's exhibition showed that medical robotics is also not standing still. In 2022, the market for medical robots in China was about 9 billion yuan, or about 1 billion 200 million dollars, and by 2025, the figure is projected to reach more than 22 billion yuan, or about 3 billion dollars. Shanghai Microport Medbot displayed several medical robots that are already in use in dozens of hospitals in various regions of China. The 2 My laparoscopic surgical robot is a minimally invasive medical device, consisting of a surgeon's console, a patient cart, and a cart with a screen. The developers claim that the robot allows the surgeon to sit outside of the aseptic area to perform surgery, which reduces the burden on the doctor. As of June this year, 2 My has performed more than 1,000 surgeries, including pelvic, abdominal, and thoracic surgeries. These are very complex and challenging surgeries. An important advantage of the 2My device is that it supports 5G networks, making it possible to perform complex surgeries over long distances. Today, we also brought 5G equipment here. You can see our mobile vehicle and mobile training platform with our 5G robots. The company said that last June, surgeons from a hospital in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region managed to successfully operate on patients at a hospital in the eastern province of Jiangsu, despite being separated by 5,000 kilometers. Shuri, in turn, introduced China's first fully developed single-port laparoscopy surgical system. In June this year, the device was the first in the country to pass a special inspection procedure for innovative medical devices and was authorized to enter the market by the National Medical Products Administration of China. Its application is authorized for urological surgery. ULS Robotics demonstrated solutions for facilitating physical labor and reducing the risk of injuries at work by presenting several exoskeletons at its booth. The company originally developed exoskeletons to assist in rehabilitation after severe injuries. However, it later decided to position its products as a tool to prevent injuries due to heavy lifting and is in the process of introducing its exoskeletons to businesses where there is a risk of injury. The company does not aim to replace workers with its robots, but instead aims to help people keep their jobs, health, and desire to work. Beijing-based RealMan, which develops ultralight robotic manipulators, has not stayed away from the topic of medicine and health. The company showed its robot, which imitates the technique of a professional masseur and can even work around the clock at temperatures from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. The area and effectiveness of the massage can be selected and adjusted using a touchscreen, and the programs include various application scenarios, including the relief of nervous tension, back, shoulder and neck tension, and lumbar relaxation. A manipulator with a special attachment will then perform the programmed massage session. It was actually possible to check the effectiveness of such a massage right at the exhibition, which some visitors willingly used. Agricultural robots are among the developments that definitely have a future. Several companies brought agro-robots and showed scenarios of their application, including the already mentioned Cloud Mines Technologies. This is our robot farmer designed for fruit picking. As we know, we are facing a labor shortage right now, farm work is very hard, and nobody in China wants to do it. So I think there is a high need for these robots to replace humans in this kind of work. 
The robots are equipped with special technology to analyze fruits, allowing them to select and assess the degree of maturity, after which a robot arm is guided to the selected fruit or vegetable and plucks it. Such a robot can work in temperatures ranging from 5 to 40 degrees Celsius and pick up to one ton of fruit in a day. I believe this is a very big market. In China, we say food is very important, and this robot has a very big market. We have to make it. Agribot also presented interesting solutions in the field of agricultural robots, showing a robotic fruit and vegetable picker. The company honestly admits that robots are still inferior to humans in terms of speed, but at the same time, they can work around the clock without breaks for sleep and food. On average, the robot spends 10 seconds to pick one fruit, using artificial intelligence, image, and video analysis technologies to pick only ripe fruits. According to the developers, the cost of such robots will fall in the future, and efficiency will improve. Industrial robots were also not ignored at the exhibition. Both adults and children watched the smooth work of the automobile welding robot CSUN with curiosity. The developer notes that automotive spot welding is a high-tech application for industrial robots. The new generation robots utilize the control system and software developed by the company, and the welding efficiency has already reached an advanced international level. At present, about a hundred such robots are working in the factories of Chinese automakers. China believes that robots are already deeply ingrained with new generation information technology. Their autonomy and adaptability have been greatly improved, and their application scenarios are constantly expanding, and they have penetrated all aspects of the economy and society. The robot industry is gradually approaching the point of radical change and a huge leap forward. So, it's safe to say this attention to the WRC will only grow over the years, and its participants will not cease to pleasantly surprise the public and each other.